The universe we live in has vast clumps of matter we call stars and galaxies. We know that things are not smooth out in the universe. In fact, we have little clumps. We have stars, we have galaxies, we have quasars. We have clumps of matter. Now they had to explain how the collision of two parallel universes could go on to create these lumps of matter. Was there something about the membranes or brains which could explain it? People tended to think of brains as being flat, perfect sheets, geometrical planes. But I think to us it was clear that that picture could not be correct. It cannot be perfectly flat. It has to ripple. What would happen as these brains approached that there are ripples in the surface of each brain. And when they come together, they don't hit at exactly the same time, the same place, but in fact they hit at different points at different times. We found that as the brain moves, it literally ripples. So when the collision takes place, it imparts those ripples into real matter. The parallel universes move through the 11th dimension like waves. And like any wave, these would ripple. It was the ripples which went on to cause the clumps of matter after the Big Bang. They finally had their complete explanation of the birth of our universe. And now they could do something even more profound. They could take the laws of physics back in time to the moment of the Big Bang and through to the other side. The existence of brains before the singularity implies there was time before the Big Bang. Time could, can be followed through the initial singularity. You sort of go back and back and back until you get near the place where the expansion would have taken place. And then it just sort of changes into another world. When the brains collide, the collision of those can be explained within M-theory. So it just simply enters the realm of mathematics and science now, rather than being a, an unknown point that exploded.